Hey crafty friends, this is Jenny from crafttestdummies.com and today I'm going to have a little video um, to show you how to have more accurate envelopes using the Envelope Punch Board by We Are Memory Keepers. So I've been um, playing with this tool, I've been testing it out, um, I really like a lot of the functions. I love the little onboard storage for your bone folder. Um, I like the way you use it. I like the dual punched, both to round the corners and to notch. But, and this is a big but, uh, I found that some of my envelopes were not coming out accurately. So let me show you what I mean. So I did this one. This is supposed to be for a five by seven uh, card. Because I thought, oh, if I want to send a picture in the mail or something. So I folded it all up and you can see visually that it's just off. And when you try and put the 5x7 card in, you can see that it's off by um, a lot. So I'm like, okay, well, I know that sometimes I'm not accurate. So um, I decided to do it again, and this time I paid attention to flipping, uh, rotating it and actually measuring it twice. This tool is meant so that you're not really supposed to have to measure except for the first time. You line it up and then you work clockwise around. And if you look at the video, I'll leave a link in the uh, description area that I filmed at CHA, they say, well, you measure once and then you never measure again. But I, I just didn't find that to be helpful to me. Let me show you another example. Um, here's another card. This is supposed to be for, I think it's a six by eight. So here's one. Okay, this is, again, this is the same envelope, but you can see that it is off by a half an inch, quarter of an inch on two sides, and this is the actual size it's supposed to be. So, and this is off by a lot. So, let me show you my tip for making perfect envelopes. Um, and what you're gonna have to do, oh, here's another example too. Here's um, three by one, and I'm sorry, three by eight and a half inches. This is the card, this is the envelope, and as you can see, it is off by just that much, it won't fit inside. So here's how you make sure it's accurate. Because what happens is, is if you're lining it up here and you're scoring it and then you're rotating around, if you are off by even an eighth of an inch here, each time you go around, it's multiplied. So then it ends up being just the wrong size. Um, so here's kind of, especially with the large sheet of paper, this is um, a six and an eight and a half card size. So your paper size is 11 and a half by 11 and a half. So if you line it up on the four and seven eighths inch mark, like you're supposed to do, and you go to score it, what ends up happening is you score along this line and it goes all the way off the paper or off the board. You see how it goes like a good two inches past it? So you don't get an accurate score line. Well then if you go to eyeball it over here, it's going to be off, and then if you come back over here, it's going to be off again. Do you see what I'm saying? It just like compounds it. So the way I found to do it, I'm going to do it here with this um, narrow card, is I really suggest you measure twice. It sounds goofy to measure twice and cut once, but that's what I'm telling you to do. So this is the three and eight and a half, nine by nine sheet of paper, it's what I got, two and a half inch marking line. So there's two and a half inches. I get out my handy dandy scoring tool. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and score it. And you take your time. Now see how this one also goes? It goes over the edge. So I'm gonna punch it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this around to the opposite side. And I'm gonna do it again. Two and a half inches, punch, and score. And this, if the board was just a little bit bigger, I don't think you'd have to do this, but you kind of do, because you can see here, maybe you can right in the back, see how there's no score line. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and kind of score it by hand. Oops, I went all, all the way off. This is another reason why maybe that board should be a little bit bigger. There you go, so there's one, and here's two. Now, I will be able to see, theoretically, where that score line is better so that when I finish the punching, I'm gonna do it on one side and then again flip it over on the other. Now I can score it. Oops, I forgot to score it over here. Let me go back and do that. 
And now I have, theoretically, a more accurate envelope. And does it fit in? And the answer is yes. Yes, it will. By the way, you'll also notice that on some of these, this is just way too big. So you actually have to fold this in or cut it so that you actually have a true envelope. Does this make sense? Sometimes I tried to show you because it's easier than explaining it, and then it's, sometimes it's not as easy to explain either. But hopefully this will at least give you the idea that when you go to use your envelope punch board, I highly recommend that you measure it on one side, as you will, whatever market tells you, then go ahead, flip it around and do the opposite side, and then go back. Measuring twice will yield you much more accurate envelope sizes per the board, especially in the larger sizes. One last thing, I noticed this and there is an error on the board. If you wanna make a three by three envelope, you cannot put it at the two and three fourths inch marking, which is what they tell you on the board. It has to be two and five eighths. So um, this will be on uh, my review. Um, I actually went ahead and let We Are Memory Keepers know, um, but you should know too, if you wanna make a three by three, you must put it at the two and five eighths inch marking in order to get a truly square three by three envelope. So. I hope this was informational. I know it was kind of roundabout, but hopefully now you understand that if you measure it twice, you will get a much more accurate envelope out of your envelope punch board by We Are Memory Keepers. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this a thumbs up if you found it helpful. If you have any questions, please leave me um, a comment and I will do my best to get back to you. Thank you so much and have a crafty day. See you at crafttestdummies.com.